Hello and God bless. Today I want to show you how to get optimum video footage from your Cinema X8C by maintaining your quad. There are a few things that we're going to need before we do this. A credit card mount. A lip head screwdriver. Sandpaper. A prop balancer and a velcro strap. The next thing you want to do is balance your props. You want to take the cone side of the screw and plug it into the back side of the washer side of the propeller. Take the flat side of the balance screw and put it on the flat side where the washer is of the propeller. Make sure when you do this that the prop is even between the two screws. This is very important and very relevant. Once you get the prop centered between the balance screw, you then place it on the balancer and see what you got. As you can see, this side right here is the heavy side. What you want to do next is take the prop and your 60 coarse sandpaper, I got the aluminum oxide, and scrape a little bit of material off the heavy side of the prop. There we go. The prop is now balanced. What you want to do next is check your prop mount and see if there's too much play. And what I mean by play is wiggling space. If there's too much wiggling space, you might need to add another washer. The wiggling and the wobbling causes the vibration and the jello effect. Take the washer from one of your spare props or take the washer out your prop. And you can bring it to Lowe's or Home Depot and get the same size washer and just mount it on top of the initial washer. like so. This is the amount of space you're supposed to have between the pin and the lock pin. You may have to take the sandpaper and sand the lock pin down a little bit to give it a little more space. You don't want to put too much stress on the motors. What you want to do next is rotate the propeller with your finger to check for any added tension due to the extra washer. If there's too much tension, you may have to take the lock pin out again and sand it down a little more. You do not want to put too much tension on the motors. After taking the stress off the propeller, shake it again and see if there's any more play. Once the play is taken out, you resolve the biggest issues to your jello and your vibration. We're moving on to the next step. We're at the final step. Thoroughly analyze the quad. Analyze the landing feet. Make sure there are no gaps where they screw on at. This is another big effect for Jello. I use the sponge to dampen uh, any excess vibration or Jello effect, and I also use it to position the camera facing down a little more. I purchased this strap for three dollars and some change on eBay. It's a good strap to mount your camera to the credit card mount. Thank you and God bless.